Just like any other material in the marine environment, fiberglass needs the proper protection in order for it to maintain its mechanical integrity. And that means providing a protective barrier coat between it and the water. And that means using Interlux's Interprotect epoxy barrier system. For Power and Motor Yacht TV, I'm Ken Chrysler, Senior Editor of Power and Motor Yacht Magazine. Let's get to work. Let me start with an important definition. Osmosis, as you remember from high school biology, is the ability of water to get through a porous or semi-porous material, and that includes fiberglass. Now, let's take a look at your boat as it sits in the water, and remember, Unless you've got dry bilges, there's water inside your boat as well. Let's say you unknowingly hit something while underway or while backing down into your slip, grab the little piece of the dock. Even minimal damage like this can compromise the gel coat and allow water to get into the laminate, setting up a chemical reaction with any uncured resin. The result is a blister to show us the hows and whys of dealing with this problem and how Interlux's Interprotect epoxy barrier system can help, I enlisted the aid of Interlux's Joe Pertel. The Interprotect epoxy barrier system can be utilized in two different capacities. The first is for a brand new boat. You literally take the Interprotect 2000 and apply it to the, uh, to the new fresh gel coat laminate for a preventive maintenance application. The, and that involves strictly the Interprotect 2000 on a uh, pour coat basis. And uh, you take it from there and apply your antifouling right directly over that. We have a second system, and that is for when you're repairing osmotic blisters, gel coat blisters. And you, uh, you start off, because you're exposing bare laminate by grinding out the blisters and or gel peeling the whole bottom, you come back with 100% solids epoxy barrier resin and that's our HT9000 Epiglass. You, uh, you literally come back and reseal and encapsulate that laminate with the uh, HT9000 Epiglass. Uh, it's 100% so solids epoxy resin and uh, that seals up every, all the laminate, prevents any wicking of moisture back into the dry laminate and prepares the boat for the uh, barrier application which is the Interprotect 2000. Now to show you how all this works, let's go back to the yard where there's a couple of boats with some serious blister damage. Let's have a look. When you have osmotic blistering, one of the most important aspects of the repair is to completely dry the laminate back out and get as close to single digit moisture percentage rates as possible. The numbers you see here on this test boat have been determined by using a moisture meter. While you're waiting for the bottom to dry out, it's time to wash the bottom. At least two or three times a week is recommended because one of the byproducts of polyester resin breakdown is glycol, a water-loving substance. And if any of it remains, it will suck moisture right back into the laminate and make the problem you are trying to solve even more difficult. By washing the hull, you are encouraging any glycol left to migrate to the surface where it will evaporate quickly. At that point, you take your final moisture checks and apply your HT9000 Epiglass. Generally, two coats are what is recommended to properly seal everything up. One of the byproducts of using epoxy resin is something called amine blush. It's harmless and can be easily removed with just soap and water and a scrub brush. You scrub the whole hull down and that should do it. After that, you come back with some sandpaper, 60 or 80 grit will do, and take off all the gloss from the HT9000. Once that's done, you can start the application of the actual barrier coat, which is the Interprotect 2000. Now, as Joe mentioned before, having ground out the blister, it must be filled and fared before the Interprotect 2000 can be applied. The repair to the laminate is made with HT9000 epoxy resin. Fair the surface by filling the formerly blistered area with either watertight epoxy filler or HT9000 resin filled with HT450 filler. Once it's cured, it's sanded smooth. 
It doesn't matter which color of Interprotect 2000 you start with. Gray and then alternate colors. Go gray, white, gray, and then your anti-fouling. Make sure you have complete coverage on each coat. Being careful you have no holidays or voids in it. The Interprotect uh, 2000 system has been around for since 1985, so well over 20 years now. So it's a tried and proven technology that it does the job and does it very successfully. The reason it does such a successful job is because we've added little chips of mica in, inside the product. And those little chips of mica, they kind of overlap. These little chips fall in place over top of each other. And in the process, the uh, for moisture to get through it, it has to detour around those chips of mica, which just increases the actual path and length that the moisture has to travel. And you, you might ask, why would moisture get through that? Believe me, a water molecule is very determined and very tiny, and it will eventually work its way through uh, the, any barrier. It doesn't matter what it is. Eventually, it's going to happen. So the, uh, the fact is, the, uh, the mica chips, the Interprotect 2000, deter that problem. Whether you have a new boat or an older one, maintaining the fiberglass hull is a full-time job. One that can be made a lot easier by using Interlux's Interprotect Epoxy Barrier System. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Bob Donay, Jim Seidel, Steve Schultz, and of course, Joe Pertel for all their help in putting this production together. For Power Motor Yacht TV, I'm Ken Chrysler, Senior Editor of Power Motor Yacht Magazine. I'll see you next time around the yard.